when we were closer to Tucson. We could have cleared a couple of hundred there. We'll be lucky to squeeze a short 50 out of these roofs. Tucson doesn't have Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo? He's gonna make us a million dollars. Just being dead. can sure shoot a gun. He's giving me a headache. Oh, how I wish I could go back to peaceful Baltimore. Bobby, you've been beating about this for nearly a year. Why don't you just pack up and leave? Listen, I'd head east on the first train if I could sell my place. But I can't find a buyer. Why don't you try raffling it off? This boy is some shooter, Johnny. All right, all right, now gather close and listen to what I got to say. I got a proposition for you. Come on. Kid Adonis now offers to challenge any and all shooters here in Velarde. No, 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 no. Not at each other, at standing targets. Now, if you beat the kid, you get $100. You can try your luck for a dollar a shot. That's 100 to 1 odds. Uh, the match will begin in one hour at Twin Rocks. Now, any of you think you can beat the kid? <laughs> we'll even challenge you, Sheriff. That'll be a fine thing to see. <laughs> Why don't you, Johnny? How about it, Sheriff? We'll see. Where? Now, remember, in one hour, the Mayor Velarde versus Kid Adonis, the fastest gun in the world. I've got some shopping to do. See you later. And you, you're going with me. Come on. <laughs> Always the gentleman, huh, kid? That's me. Yeah, well, just keep away from the young bustles around here, will you? I don't want the same kind of trouble we had in Weaver last week. I kissed a girl a couple of times, so that makes me a criminal. Well, does you have to pick the mayor's only daughter? Oh, Max, I can't help it if I've got good taste. Excuse me. That's all right. Yeah. Max, what's all this about Johnny Ringo? I don't want to talk about it here. Let's get over to the hotel. Come on. You want the kid to fight Johnny Ringo? Do you realize the tremendous drawing card we'd have? Why, Ringo's reputation is known from the Gulf to the Pacific Ocean. The man who killed Johnny Ringo. Oh, we'd make a bundle. Max, you're out of your mind. 
The kid would never kill a man for no reason, just to make a name for himself. When the kid finds out the sheriff's name is John Ringo, he'll have reason enough. What are you talking about? He never talked to you about how his father was killed, did he? No, and I never asked him. Well, ten years ago, Bill Charles beat a hot-headed rancher in a shooting match. The next day, Charles was found in a ditch, shot in the back. Now, the story goes, the rancher hired a professional gunman to do the job. Ringo was the only gunslinger known to have been in the vicinity. <laughs> Say, that was a pretty fancy exhibition you put on out there. Just routine, Sheriff. Mind if I join you? No, no, I'll peg it down. Copy? No, thanks. You sure got some sweet taffy in this town, Sheriff. Say, where'd you learn how to handle a gun like that? I was raised in carnivals. Guns are my specialty, like uh, rubber balls out of a juggler. Yeah, I fooled around with guns since I was five. My dad was a trick shot artist, too. He was the best. He taught me. Must have been a pretty good teacher. Was that him making the pitch for you? Oh, no, no, no. That was Max. Max Healy, my manager. Well, he runs the whole shebang, you know, he pitches the rubes, stiddies the tuppy, spreads the... I mean, he uh, talks to the customers, handles the money, publicity. You mean he was a top wheeler? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, you know Connie Lingo. A little bit. I, uh, I knew a dancer in a carnival once. Uh, that was real tap. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, you're all right. I like you. Cully? Well, now, that's one I'm afraid I don't understand. Oh, Cully, Cully. Cully means friend, pal, partner. Oh, I see. Sure, it's a pleasure. Now, how long have you been a feature attraction? A couple of years. I was nine when my dad died and joined a flea bag tent show and worked as a roustabout. Roustabout at nine? That's pretty young to be doing all that heavy work in a carnival. Oh, I didn't mind. Just as long as I knew that I could stay with the troop and work out with my guns every day. Top Willie used to let me do this come on before the show, you know, I'd... Pop off a few bottles thrown in the air, take a couple of shots using a mirror, you know, the old sawdust. Well, that's how I met Max. He thought I had possibilities and wanted to groom me as a class attraction, so he uh, brought me some fancy clothes and changed my name to Kid Adonis. What's your real name? William Charles, Jr. <laughs> What's the matter, Sheriff? Hmm? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about that old saying, you know, a man with two front names always gets it in the back, like Jesse James and Bob Edward. Of course, that's just a superstition. Maybe it's true. I've got the same name as my father, Bill Charles. And he got it in the back. Well, you forget it. You're a kid Adonis now. Which reminds me, I've got to go clean my irons and get to work. My uh, public, you know. Say, I'd like to talk to you about something after the match. Sure. Won't be leaving till tomorrow. You coming to the exhibition this afternoon? Oh, yes. I wouldn't want to miss it. By the way, uh, what's your name? Well, since we're colleagues, you can just call me Johnny. Okay, Johnny. You, uh, gonna try your luck with me today? Ever been beaten? Uh-uh. Well, I wouldn't want to spoil your perfect record. <laughs> All right, folks, I'll step right up and try your luck with Kid Adonis. Who's next? There you are. Step right up here, young man. One dollar a shot. There you are. Try your luck. There you are. The fabulous Well, better luck next time. All right, now, who's next? Who's next? Oh, come now. We've only had a dozen contestants. Surely there must be somebody in this wonderful big city of yours who can now draw a teenage kid. What about you, Sheriff? Yeah. Come on, Sheriff. 
Go on, Johnny. You can lick that boy. I bet you could. The whole town will be watching. Uh, he's pretty fast. Ah, show him some real shooting, Johnny. Oh, go on. That's your boy, boy. <laughs> Sheriff? Now, just take your time, Sheriff. And don't get nervous. Relax. They're right, Sheriff. It's a draw. There's one way to settle a draw. Only one way. Let him have a showdown. What are you talking about, Max? The gunfight of the century. Kid Adonis against the famous John Ringo. You? You're John Ringo? That's right. Listen, kid. You killed my father? When you told me your real name, that's why I said I wanted to talk to you. You shot him in the back? No, son. I didn't kill your father. I've laid awake nights wondering what you look like. I didn't even know your father. You're a liar. You're a lousy, stinking killer and a liar! All right, now, let him have a showdown! I'm not gonna fight you, boy. I have no reason to. <laughs> Is that reason enough? If you were a little older, I'd... Ringo! I'm not too young to use this! I'm gonna kill you, Ringo! You hear me, Ringo? You got one out of this, and I'm gonna kill you! This is crazy. It's not right. You've got to put a stop to it. Max, listen to me. Oh, you listen to me. I've been planning this for nearly two years. It's cost me a small fortune keeping that kid in ammunition just so he could practice with those guns four hours a day. Eat with them, sleep with them, until they were part of him like his legs, until he smelled like gunpowder. And we've been doing great ever since you found the kid. What do you want, Max? The moon? Yes. Sick and tired of these grass towns, the rubes, and that ridiculous wagon. When the kid kills Ringo, it'll mean the big theaters. Chicago, New Orleans, New York, maybe even Europe. There's one thing you're forgetting. Suppose Ringo kills the kid. Claire, you ought to know me better than that. I only bet on sure things. You ever see a mob watching a gunfight? They never hear or see anything but the two men facing each other. They won't even notice me. And when Ringo goes for his gun, He'll never get it out of the holster. You won't get away with this, Max. Who is it? It's me. Oh, you keep your mouth shut. Come in, kid. You ready? What are you looking so solemn about? You won't have any trouble beating Ringo. It's just that... Well, I've waited a long time for this day to come, and now that it's here, I... It's not like I thought it would be. I feel funny. Kind of sick to my stomach. You're just edgy, kid. Like the day you did your first show. I've never killed a man before. Well, this isn't just a man. This is Johnny Ringo, remember? The man who shot your father in the back. Let's go. What's that for? I want to get a picture of you killing Ringo. We can use it on the new Come On posters. Look, Max, this has nothing to do with Kid Adonis. This is Bill Charles Jr. It's personal. Well, if we get a little publicity out of it at the same time, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Come on. 
kid. Are you really sure Ringo killed your father? Well, he was the... He was the only gunman around when it happened. I hope you don't kill the wrong man, for your sake. Johnny, I'm a great believer in what's dead is dead. And the past is dead. I don't care what you were before you came here. All I know is what you are now. That's enough for me. I didn't kill that boy's father, Laura. That's the truth, I swear it. Well, why do they do it? Why do people make up stories like that? I don't know, Laura. I've often wondered about that myself. Maybe it's the animal in some men, or the weakness, or the liking to talk about it, or simple ignorance, you name it. What are we going to do about that boy? I don't know. Oh, it's a terrible situation, Johnny. The, the whole bitty town's out on the street. What do they expect me to do, go out there and shoot that boy? Would that prove I didn't kill his father? If you don't go out there, they'll believe it all the more. Yeah, I know. You just can't seem to win for losing. Well, there's only one thing to do. Get out of here and go somewhere else. No. Johnny, it'll happen again. Wherever you go, things like this are always going to happen. You know that. Not if I keep moving. All right. You run the rest of your life. But you've got to stop sometime. Now you've started to live here. It's the beginning of a new life for you. Don't throw it away. Go out there and talk to that boy. Make him understand that you didn't... Time's up, Ringo! It's too late for talk, Laura. You come out of the raft to go in there after you! <sighs> Hope I don't kill that boy. All right, son. I'm ready. Son. I'm all right. Laura, get Doc Bridell. Stop, look! Why did you do that? He had a gun hidden in the camera. Lock him up. A million dollars worth. Come on! Thanks, kid. This doesn't change anything between us, Ringo. Now, you listen to me. I didn't kill your father. If I'd have wanted to kill him, I wouldn't have had to shoot him in the back now, would I? Ah, uh, what's the use? Well, Doc Bardell says he's going to be all right in a couple of days. He's going to have to take it easy. Take it easy? Hey, just in case you don't know, He's already bought a horse, saddled up, and he's getting ready to ride out of town. It's a 
You had a lot of spunk, that boy. He sure has. I think I didn't sweat when I walked out to face him. He knows what he's doing with a gun, all right. That's going to get him into trouble one of these days. Sooner or later, he'll be forced to kill some gunslinger. Then he'll start running, and it'll never stop. He's awfully young to be alone. Take care of yourself, kid. How about you? Oh, I'm going back to New Orleans. I have a sister there. What about Max? Oh, I'll wait for him. I always have. You're real nice people, Claire. Goodbye, kid. Hey, kid! Now, where do you think you're going? I don't know. Maybe find another mud show somewhere. Why don't you try to settle down and lead a normal life? Now, let's take this town. It's a nice town. Ringo didn't kill your father, lad. Believe me. I believe you. After thinking about it, Ringo doesn't seem like the kind that would shoot a man in the back. He could have killed me today. His aim's better than this. You don't know how lucky you are. Now, why don't you stick around for a while? Thanks, but I don't think it'll work out. Maybe I'll drop around again one day. Get off that horse! You're under arrest. Why? Don't you know, the sheriff's got a new law in the lobby. It's illegal to carry guns. Not good. What did he do now? He said I was breaking the law. Now, will you kindly be quiet, young man? Hey, Johnny, when you appointed me a deputy, it made me real proud. It gave me a, a new lease on life, as you well know. But between ourselves, I, I'm getting a bit too old to be of much help. What you need is a, a younger man for a deputy, a man fast with a gun. Somebody you can rely on when the chips are down. Somebody like... Somebody like him. What about you? Oh, I've got a tidy bit of money saved up. I was putting it by for Laura, but... Well, maybe I could uh, use it for a twofold purpose. You know, I, I, I think I'm going into the general stars business. Good luck. Bless you. You gotta be wearing one, though. Looks pretty good on you, too. And so do those clothes. Like I said, you sure got some sweet taffy in this town. Don't wait up for me, Joe. Hold it! Pack it down. Pack it down! Listen, Cully. I'm the top wheeler now. ever known everywhere he travels
travel. Trouble was all that he found. Face to face with a man set to prove that he could shoot Ringo down. Ringo, Johnny Ringo, his fears were never shown. The fastest gun in all the West, the quickest ever known. when we were closer to Tucson. We could have cleared a couple of hundred there. We'll be lucky to squeeze a short 50 out of these rubes. Tucson doesn't have Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo? He's gonna make us a million dollars. Just being dead. can sure shoot a gun. He's giving me a headache. Oh, how I wish I could go back to peaceful Baltimore. Well, you've been beating about this for nearly a year. Why don't you just pack up and leave? Listen, I'd head east on the first train if I could sell my place. But I can't find a buyer. Why don't you try raffling it off? <laughs> 